All right, third prophecy revelation um, fulfilling fulfillment video of tonight. Um, I brought this video forward um, by the revelation of the Lord, April 22nd, um, concerning power outages. Power outages in uh, the southern states, southern and southern portions of Louisiana. Um, again, this happened long ago. I saw it in the news and I was just amazed. And I did not get a chance to put the video up because other things took precedence. But I must do this because it shows the Lord as God. It shows him as God, as the Bible says. Um, the original prophecy, April 22nd, um, this happened actually several times. Again, because we are in the ninth hour. I know for sure of May 29th, July 27th, and July 28th. At one point, I don't know which date it was, but it was because of power outages. The other date, there was no, I mean, not power outages, because of storms that caused the power outages. But uh, another date, and I'm uh, thinking, no, it wasn't July 27th, but uh, there was uh, one date that um, the power just went out. No storms, no nothing. But there were a massive amount of power outages, and their power was out for like almost two weeks. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen for it to be out so long. But uh, they were reporting 37,000 to 40,000 plus um, Swepco uh, customers and the other names of these, but it was Bossier, uh Louisiana, Halton, Louisiana, and uh, portions of tex Texas, which we call the Arklatex portions of um, Texas and Louisiana. Um, I didn't check, I didn't see Arkansas, but I know it was a numer, numerous um, cities in Texas and uh, Louisiana. But uh, this is the biggest they said they had seen in history. Uh, so many other cities were involved. They had to bring in more manpower of utility electric companies to help. Um, they were climbing, the power outages was climbing to about 40,000 plus. It continued to happen with no storms involved here in Shreveport and northern Louisiana. So um, again, do not despise prophesying. Um, this is an advancement over the enemy. When he reveals these things to us, it keeps you vigilant. It keeps you watchful. It keeps you prayed up, you know. If someone is warning you that, hey, this and this could happen, you know to pray. There's so many people that are not praying, so many people that are not watching, so many people that head is caught in the sand, and they just, you know, living one day like it's the next day and they have no clue of what's going on. So um, the spies not prophesying, always pay attention to when you see videos go up in um, warning formation like that. All right, I'll see you next Prophecy Revelation video. Thanks.